What's going on guys? Back again with another Ram update on the Pulsar for you guys. Um, this is going to be the last update video on the Pulsar and this is probably the one that most of you have been waiting for which is the performance update. So I just want to say first before I do any filming that I did notice a difference in performance under the performance setting on the Pulsar. So stay tuned. We're going to be doing 0 to 60 testing. 0 to 100 testing. I do have an app that tells me my 0 to 60, 0 to 100, and then the eighth mile and quarter mile times as well. And I will show you guys that uh, in the video. So stay tuned. So it looks like premium is 306 a gallon for 93. Filling her up now. All right, guys. So it took 65 bucks for 21 gallons on 93 octane. All right. So now that we have a full tank of gas, we're gonna go ahead and put it in performance. We'll do performance, and like I said, this is uh, 93 octane, so um, they say in the manual that the truck performs the best, just like in any case, uh, on 93 octane versus 87 or 89. So we have premium fuel in here, and we're gonna go out and test zero to 60 times and zero to 100. So I'm gonna go ahead and test the zero to 60 in the stock form, and then I'm gonna test it in performance and see if we notice a difference, and I'll obviously do that for the zero to 100. All right, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and show you what app we're going to be using today. It's that racing channel app, and it's free on the App Store. Basically, it's got a live speedometer and also a 0 to 60 time, 60 foot, eighth mile, quarter mile, and half mile. And you can basically calibrate it however you want it. And then it, it also gives you your weather, too. It gives you your density altitude, your humidity, your temperature, and elevation. So, five hours later. But we're going to go ahead and set it zero to 60 for the first one. And we're going to put the truck in stock form and try it zero to 60 in stock form and see what we get. And then after that, we're going to do zero to 60 in performance mode and see if it's any faster. So, stay tuned. Just so you guys can see here, we're going to go back down to stock and hit OK. So we're going to be doing the first test, 0 to 60, stock. All right, so we got our 0 to 60 timer ready, and we're going to go ahead and do this now. So these results don't make sense to me. I really don't think they're accurate. It's saying we did 11.3 in the eighth mile at 63 miles an hour. Like, I don't know, that just doesn't seem right to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you this. The density altitude is negative 749 feet, 42% humidity, 33 degrees outside at an elevation of 988 feet. So that's all correct. But as far as the GPS signal goes, I don't think it got an accurate reading on that last zero to 60. So what I'm gonna do now is put my phone on a timer, hold it in my hand, and hit start when we take off and stop when we hit 60 miles an hour. And I think that'll give us a more accurate zero to 60 time. All right guys, so let's try this again. All right guys, so let's put it in performance mode. All right, we're in performance. Grab our timer here, get that ready. Head out. And 
come to a stop. All right. So after both of those zero to 60 poles, I didn't notice much difference at all on the timer. However, I was in rear wheel drive, two wheel drive, and um, I didn't have traction control off. And even with traction control on, as you can see in the video, it still spun the tires. So now I'm gonna put the truck in four high, so four wheel drive, and do the same zero to 60 poles and see if we can get any better numbers out of it in four wheel drive. All right, so let's switch it back to stock for now. So we're gonna do stock, put it in Four wheel drive. And as you can see here, we're in four wheel drive high. So we're going to go out here and test it again. All right, so let's try this again. All right, so now we're gonna switch it back to performance. So we're in performance, we're in four wheel drive high, and let's see what we can do. Get my timer ready here. All right, let's try it out. So as you guys could see in those runs, it definitely helped putting the truck in four wheel drive. Um, our zero to 60 time definitely was better, but I'm not sure if it's worth the $500. I don't know, comment down below, let me know your thoughts. So now that we're done with our zero to 60 testing, we're gonna go ahead and try to do zero to 100. Now, I don't know if I have enough road where I'm testing to do this, but I'm gonna try my best to get a couple, at least two zero to 100 passes down one in stock form and the other one with the Pulsar in performance mode. So let's go. do 0 to 60 I'm sorry 0 to 100 in performance mode I gotta say, that was a little sketchy. We ran out of road pretty fast there, but uh, we ended up making it happen. All this was filmed in Canada. As you can see, there's still some snow on the ground, but I didn't wanna do anything illegal in Michigan, so went to Canada to film this one, and uh, yeah, got some good fit footage for you guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below if you think it's worth it or not to buy the Pulsar for your truck. I mean, in my opinion, for 500 bucks, $500 could go a long way somewhere else. But it was cool to review. 
it's definitely nice to have when towing and it's also nice to have when leaving a stoplight or trying to pass somebody in performance mode it's definitely uh, more peppy but overall I'm, I'm pretty impressed with this big heavy truck you know it's only a 5.7 it's not the 6.2 or a 6.4 and you know it does does well the fuel mileage I didn't buy the truck for fuel mileage if I wanted to buy a fuel efficient car I would have bought a Prius or you know a Dodge Dart or something that gets you know 30 miles plus per gallon but I didn't buy that this is my daily vehicle I wanted something with four-wheel drive I wanted something to haul my stuff in the back so I needed a truck and I, I love this Ram regardless of the performance regardless of the fuel economy the truck overall I love the interior design I love the exterior design overall it's been a great truck I've got about 6300 miles on it right now I'm getting ready to do an oil change so stay tuned for that video but that's it guys that's gonna do it for today's video if you like the video make sure you hit that thumbs up button if you're new to the channel make sure you hit that subscribe button browse my channel check it out um, I've got a lot of different variety and content um, I will be heading down to Texas for TX2K here next week I'll be getting a lot of uh, racing videos for you guys so make sure you stay tuned and uh, say stay subscribed and check those out and also I have more Ram content to come so stay tuned for that as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next video. Peace!